everybody, David here uh, for the Supernatural Channel. We're in Dalton, Georgia, a little town uh, in North Georgia. And why am I here? Because I heard about this amazing event about a Bible that leaks oil. In other words, it's a guy's Bible, and about a year and a half ago, he woke up and saw it pouring oil. And this Bible has been giving out gallons and gallons of oil the past uh, year and a half. So I've come to this Christian bookstore here in Dalton, Georgia, to see this Bible. I don't know anyone here. I don't know the people. I don't know the guy who has the Bible. I don't know anyone, but I'm going to just ask God to open up doors as I walk in here and see if I can interview him and find out what's going on with this Bible. Is it really from God or is it not? Stay with me. Okay, so this Bible leaks oil. What do you what do you do with the oil? When the oil comes out, what what is it used for? It's used it it it, uh, it fills up. Jerry takes it out, puts it into gallon jugs during the week. On Monday night, we come in, people come in, and we put it in small vials, uh, and we take those vials to the churches with us. We give them away to the people that are there. Okay, that's great. But what does the oil do? What do people do? They get the the vial of oil. Mm -hmm. What do they do with it? And what? What good does it do? What's the purpose? Well, of it? it's just like the scripture in James, the fifth chapter, where he said, those that are sick, call for the elders of the church. They'll bring the oil, they'll anoint you, and the prayer of faith will save the sick, and we just use it for anointing oil. So, Jerry, this um, uh, this is your Bible. Yes, you're right. What, tell me, what? how did this come about? Tell me the first moment you saw the Bible leaking oil, where were you? What happened? Well, I, I was at home when it first started on the 27th day of January of last year, of 17. Okay. And uh, it started in Psalms 39 the, is where it started. The, the, the leaking of the oil came out of the scripture, Psalms 139? No, 39. Th Psalms 39. Yes. And there was places on every page up to chapter 63. Three months ago, I was praying, and the Lord spoke up and says, 39. And I, and I said, what, Lord? And he says, 39. And he says, 39 represents the 39 stripes I took for healing. So let me ask you, the Bible started leaking oil. What was the first sign of the Bible leaking oil? I mean, you looked at it. Was there a drop or what? Uh, no. The first sign was... I had had my great-grandbaby came to the house on Friday. I thought she had spilled something in it because the pages had spots, it was wet. Okay. And she did. I mean, she had nothing to drink that day. Okay. So we just got, the wife and I just got to investigating it. We, uh, you know, we reached over, we touched it, we smelled it, we tasted it. Right. To verify it, it was oil. It was oil, yeah. okay. How many inches of oil is in there? He's probably, he's probably right now an inch. About an inch? Yeah. About an inch. Wow. That's, and it's been up to how high? How high has it been? Ran over twice. I'll, I'll show you. Over 17 years I've owned it. I've done mark. I've highlighted different scriptures. It's been in the oil. It's been in the oil like 17 months. Now 18, right at 18. Wow. And the highlights are still just as perfect as they were. Wow. And that has not even been faded. Look at that. No, it's it's everything is still intact. Wow. The binder is still just as tight as it was. Because oil should damage something over a period of time, shouldn't it? Normally. Unless it's from God and anointed. Got that right. You got that right. Wow. Why? Do you believe God uh, has allowed oil to come from the Bible? Let me start by saying this. About a year ago, a friend of ours had it analyzed. Okay. He's a, uh, a, a chemist. He's a chemical engineer, been a chemist for 30 years, and he told us, he said, I didn't do this to try to disprove it. I did this because of the curiosity of the chemist in me. Oh. So he had it analyzed, sent us the analysis, and the analysis was, and, we, and people have had it analyzed two other times since, and not us, just people that do it. 
But each time the report has come back that it had some of the characteristics of mineral oil because of the way it feels. Okay. But they said the chemical makeup of the oil, we don't know what it is. They said the only thing we do know is it's not manufactured by any man. And the best explanation we can come up with is that it's unexplainable. Wow. Now, when you ask me the question, why do I believe the Lord gave us the oil? Well, we've been asked that question for 18 months and never had an answer. Okay. About three weeks ago, we were getting ready to go to a service on a Sunday night, and the Lord spoke, and he said, do you want to know why I sent you the oil? And, of course, we said yes. And he said three things. He said, this oil, this Bible flowing oil, he said, man can only represent but I manifest. And he said, this Bible, flowing oil, is a manifestation of everything that you think is impossible. And he said, it's a manifestation of everything that you don't believe. Wow. So what he says is, I'm showing you that nothing's impossible, nothing is unbelievable, and what I'm doing has come from that supernatural realm. And, and if you can believe that I'm doing this, he said, then everything that you've given up on Everything that you thought I wouldn't do and couldn't do, he said, it's sitting before your eyes. So when you think that something's impossible, well, what you think's impossible is sitting on a table in a tub, and it's been flowing oil for 18 months. Amazing. That's amazing. Because, look, it's one thing to put oil on and believe that the oil is anointed and it's going to heal you, right? Right. However, if we believe that, why would we not believe that oil could come from a Bible? Right. Or oil could come from anything if God ordains it, right? God ordains it. Just what you said. God says, look, I'm looking for believers in these end times. And folks, we are in the end times. This is a sign of the times that we're in. I believe God's calling out to people. People, listen to me in this day and time. Not, you're not going to only see this miracle. You can see major, you can see major, miracles. major, major miracles. Jerry says something every time that he gets up to tell the story. Jerry, Jerry says this every time. He says, we can't explain it, but it's undeniable because it's in your face. And so what I've told him and what we've said is this, this Bible that's producing oil, you can't explain it, but it's undeniable. It's a, yeah. But whenever you use it and you pray for somebody who God does something that you think is impossible, you take that same principle and you put it on that disease or that uh, uh, addiction or whatever, and he delivers you, and you look at that person that's delivered and healed or raised from the dead, and you can say it's unexplainable, but it's undeniable because it's in your face. Because didn't Jesus say to the woman of the, uh, the issue of blood, your faith yes. has made you whole. And look at the belief she had. Right. She had. She saw from a distance, out of money, out of hope. Doctors had sent her home uh, probably uh, uh, hopeless. Right. And she saw Jesus, the man from Nazareth. She said, if I can get through that crowd and if I can touch his robe, if I can touch his robe, I will be healed. She, and she felt, he felt the the energy going out of him into her, and he said to her, your faith has made you whole. It, it, it's in a humble carrying case here. It's like something you buy at Walmart. There's nothing... There's a tractor supply. Tractor supply. I mean, you would think that it would be in some prestigious glass case or something, but it's not. It's very humble. We don't. We don't show it. I mean, it's. We try to stay humble with it. We have yeah. to. Right. Yeah. Exactly. We have to. We're. We're. The guardian of it. The Lord made us the guardian of it. My Bible. I don't know why he picked mine. He could have picked yours just as easy as he picked mine. Here's my last uh, point I'd like to make, or my last question. Someone takes the oil from the Bible. They put it on themselves. In order for this oil to work, mm -hmm. do they need to believe it's going to work, or is it powerful enough it can just work without their belief? No. What the Lord has told us, he said, it's, 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 it, it, it is about the oil, but it's not about the oil. He okay. said, all, our, all the Lord's wanting us to do is believe that that's him doing that. Okay. You got skeptics, you got unbelievers. He said, All I want you to do is to believe that that's me doing it. And if you believe that's me doing it, 
I'll heal you. That's right. I'll restore. So, so it's really about strengthening our belief system. That's what it is. In the supernatural. Most, right. You know, and so many people think of supernatural as aliens, and, you know, we've hijacked that. God is supernatural. He is supernatural. He's the ultimate supernatural because he's not natural. He doesn't right. live in the natural world. Right. So, Johnny, thank you so much. God bless thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry, and God bless you. And I want to thank you guys here at the Supernatural Channel. Thank you for tuning in. Now, there's three kinds of people as we close with God's light in my heart. The first kind of person is the person that doesn't know the Lord at all, and they're looking at this from a distance going, oh, man, here's a bunch of people selling stuff. You know, these are crazy people. You know, that's the one. Number two is the religious people. That's the people that go to church. They put God in a box. They think they can do their hour of sermon every Sunday morning. They can have their prayer. And then they go home, eat fried chicken, and, every, and God's happy with that. Okay, supernatural doesn't quite exist anymore. And then there's the third person, and that's who I think I'm talking to. I hope I'm talking to all three, but, but you're the person that you believe in the supernatural. You believe in God's miracles, and I'm sharing this with you, and this is why I'm doing it, because my purpose is not to show you what man's doing, not to show you sensationalism, I want to show you what God's doing. All right, guys. So we just left the um, uh, the uh, Christian bookstore, and I got to tell you, I, I I don't know what to say except I really believe God is in this. I believe God's hand is on it. It's the Bible that I don't have the right word. I, I don't even want to say leaks oil. Leak is not uh, it's not an appropriate word for what God is doing. God is manifesting himself in these last days. People, we as Christians, as true believers, we've got to understand that God is looking. He's looking for those who will believe, those who will step out of the box, those who will see his manifestations in these last days, those that will stop playing church, those that will understand that in these last days there will be miracles, but it will also be Satan counterfeiting God's miracles and we must be able to discern the Bible the Bible that gives God's anointing oil right here in Dalton Georgia I'm David Havener for the Supernatural Channel and God bless you